after my birth right after 15 days my grandfather passed away so i was so labeled as a manhus i was not at all accepted my father was forced to get married to get a male child when i was young my grandmother was not that supportive she wanted a male child it was a male dominated family my parents when they were expecting they did a lot of puja to continue the generation they believe that the girls cannot take the lamp ahead when i took birth my father had to leave the next day because he is a father got a heart attack and then there was no response from his family side after my birth right after 15 days my grandfather passed away so i was also labeled as a manhus so they were totally avoiding my mama my mama had to go with me to her mother's place then she was staying there for few months then we got to know that my father was forced to get married to get a male child to continue the generation my eldest sister tried to contact mama informed her about the situation she came there and then the villagers and the other paternal family side they made my grandmother understand that give her another chance accept her then they accepted us we were very clear from childhood that we will have to change in our fit by our own i decided to become an entrepreneur when i was in class 8 I was studying in a commerce college, and then the Nirbhaya case happened in the year 2012. In the year 2015, I saw a Facebook post. It was from one of my college mates. So I contacted him. If you are a martial artist, can you please teach me? Then he said yes. I started learning martial arts in 2015. Then I started my academy with my coach. He is my business partner. In 2017, we started with two students with very less amount of money. We have faced a lot of problems because we didn't get any support from anyone. we took up a loan that loan was not from any bank from a person we are very thankful to him that he trusted us for one or two year we didn't buy anything one night i had to leave pg i had no option but to go to railway station i couldn't go to any hotel because i didn't have that money i shared this thing with our students so one of our students said that he can stay with us we stayed there and then after some time i took a rented house after taking the rented house i was left with nothing we are very lucky that we got some students who are a family to us now when we look back the success story that just hides the struggle because our students are flourishing they have went to national international even we have got recognition discrimination is everywhere we see this a lot like i will come to us with their son taking the martial arts classes we won't put our daughter because she will get hurt i have learned what the pain is so a little bit of pain and some soreness will not matter to her anyway this is my small message don't just put up all your expectation on someone else you just need to believe in your dream and you can achieve it